What's probably y'all? So we about to hop into this video by B.02. This is Terry Tate office linebacker. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop straight into this video. So this is a show? This is my first reaction, by the way. Or first time. Hey, seeing this. Whoa! You know you can't bring that weak ass stuff up in this humpy bumpy. You kill the Joe, you make some more. You know that, baby. Else you're here for a long day. A long day. Cause triple T's up in this bitch. What? Some people said I was crazy when I brought Terry on board, but I'm a firm proponent of paradigm breaking, outside the box thinking. And since Terry's been with us, our productivity has gone up 46%. <laughs> Break was over 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I am an enforcer, man. Don't nothing go down in my house. That's the dude off the arm. Sure, I jack a few fools. I give them the pain. But sometimes it's about intimidation, you know. That's the dude off my wife and kids. I'll see you later. Now I'm gonna watch my wife and kids. Take Razor! Take Razor! Get ready for the pain, woman! The pain train is coming! It's an air! Don't hurt me! Breathe over me! Thank you, Terry! But what's really impressive uh, is how Terry's become uh, part of the Felcher family. He fits right in here. Uh, Happy birthday! As profits increase, the margin reaches a second break-even point here, after which enterprise falls into loss. Any questions? You know you need a cover sheet on your TPS reports, Richard! That ain't new, baby! Hey, Terry. Hey, Janice! Motherfucker! That's not to say that Terry's gone soft. He still does what he does best. He still does what he does best. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. Out of that woman, bro. Of course, the office environment is, in fact, a violent world, and injuries do occur. Hi, Terry. Hey, Dana. Oh, oh. No! Oh, oh. Playing hurt? Baby, that don't phase me. I don't got time for pain. The only pain I got time for is the pain I put on fools who don't know what time it is. Any bitch ass thing, I don't lost a step. Cause of what happened? Cause of what happened to my knee and such? Well, he ain't for a surprise. A rude, painful surprise! <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I wish I had 10 Terry Tates on Team Felcher. I just do my job, man. I do what my God given abilities allow me to do, and I thank Jesus Christ for it every single day. And do I enjoy what I do? <laughs> Hell yeah. These ain't your pants, Richard! These pants belong in my house! You can't come in my kitchen and kick my dog and take a box full of ball points! This must be crazy! This is a commercial? Our commercials and with the third pick in the draft oh Belcher and Sons selects Courtney Kate linebacker <laughs> 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 
It's not that we think Terry's lost a step. Far from it. We simply took the best athlete available at our position in the draft. Terry who? Look, man, I ain't playing a name game up in here. There's a reason why Mr. Felcher chose me in the first round. I'm an impact player. Do I look worried to you? Man, ain't nobody downsizing this. I'm done when I say I'm done. Besides, a little healthy competition in the workplace never hurt anybody. Woo! You got mail, baby! Woo! To be honest, there was a bit of a learning curve before Terry and Courtney were fully able to appreciate their working relationship. I'll knock your ass out all day! Where's your food truck, baby? But after some initial friction, pause. Did he voice Coltrane in um uh, in Gears of War? Cause he sounds just like him. He sounds just like Coltrane. Terry and Courtney were able to find a mutual, <laughs> results-based respect. <laughs> Damn, Ronald! You know this key belongs to a reception. The restroom's a privilege, not a right, punk. Nice play, baby. But once Terry and Courtney realized Ooh. we're all on the same team here at Fox That's gotta be Sons, culture. everything gelled. And it's true what they say. There's only one thing better than having a linebacker in your office, and that's having two linebackers in your office. Sadly, due to <laughs> recent salary cap restrictions imposed by the league, we could only keep one of our office linebackers, and though Courtney certainly showed the raw talent for the position, well, let's just say mistakes were made. Ah! Oh, Timmy, 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 you can't come up in here dressed like that, son. This ain't club man, baby. But it's casual Friday. What's up, y'all? Damn. <laughs> so we reassigned Courtney to Felcher and Sons Europe where he'll get more playing time to improve his skill set. It's Morgan Gunther. Good morning, Helga. Tanz dein Arzt, Gunther. Atum, baby. The one thing we did learn through this process, however, is that there's only one Terry Tate, and we're lucky to have him. That better be yours. Hey, John, how are you, huh? <gasps> that ain't your cake, Philip. That's Simone's cake. You eat someone else's cake again, and I'm gonna give you a slice of Terry special. See, that's what he cake. really needed. Don't, don't be touching my shit. Ooh, that's you. You deserve that. Oh my God, it's got a whole sign on it that says, do not touch my cake. Terry had worked for 1,000 straight days without an absence of any kind. <laughs> and state law Damn. mandated that he take at least two weeks vacation. Cause he going on vacation? Now I know he didn't want to go, but I'm sure he's having a great time down there. Look, man, fun is fun. Ain't no problem with chilling when the chilling's right. But when things ain't happening the way they're supposed to happen, you know Triple T gonna condense the nonsense. Just because I'm on vacation, don't mean I'm out the lunch. I come to play, baby. Who he finna tackle? He not finna be tackling random people. Justin, I ordered those eggs 40 minutes ago. Don't make me scramble you again, son. Well, we were aware that Mr. Tate was a discerning guest, but it seems that we weren't fully prepared for exactly how discerning he was. <laughs> Truly, I've never seen anything like it. During his stay here, our hotel was never more efficient. Oh, my butt hurts. That drop ain't punch, baby. That drop ain't punch. Quite simply. Mr. Tate was the best guest we have ever had here. And I think we actually got him to loosen up a bit and enjoy his vacation. Of 
course, it goes without saying, Mr. Tate is welcome back here anytime. Without Terry here, the office environment deteriorated rapidly. Things went from bad to worse to downright strange. <laughs> Somebody getting their ass whooped. With Terry back, Damn. we quickly returned to business as usual. Now I see why he hired him. I just pray it's another thousand days. We need some new uh, employees. You want to play games, Gene? Well, Terry's back, and I got a new game for you. It's called How Much Pain Can Gene Stand Before Gene Learns Not to Play Games Anymore? That's my game. That's Terry's game. And when it's game time, it's pain time, baby. Woo! Woo! <laughs> So is he an actual football player or is it just a character? OSPN, the Office Sports Programming Network. Bringing you the pain. What the hell? The pleasure and the glory of the office world since 1978. And finally, we've come to the moment you've all been waiting for. OSPN's number one all-time office athlete of the century. There can be little doubt that this man changed the very sport itself with his speed, skill, and sheer stick to -itiveness. I speak of none other than number 56 himself, terrible Terry Tate, office linebacker. You can't hurt this! I'm a machine, Gene! I'm built for this, son! Woo! Woo! Ha ha! He hit him with the double woo. <laughs> but Terry Tate wasn't always the mean machine we know and love today. Let's take a look back and see from whence this office athlete came, shall we? Like many children, Terry was born. Sometime later, Terry attended high school. After graduating as valedictorian and captain of the football team, Terry decided to accept a full scholarship to Major University. And it was while attending Major University that Terry reached a fork in the road. A fork of destiny. During his Halcyon collegiate days, Terry experimented what the hell? with a freelance mime troupe. You're a big ass, buff a ass mime. He, know he, had. he could have been one of the greats. The world was his tacit oyster. Terence could have had everything that comes with being a world-class pantomime. The adulation, the wealth, the women, but Terry women like mimes? had his demons. And eventually, Pantomimes? his demons had him. Hey, Diamond Diggity Dave, how you doing? Ah, oh, nothing. I'm just watching some guy do like a sign language performance or something. I don't know what it is. What happened? No way. Come on. Excuse me. Yeah, in a minute, Chachi. I don't know. Some helmet's yammering in my ear. You know how it is. Right. You're kidding me. You respect the arts, or the arts will respect you. Your ass trapped in my box now, baby. Terry's painting my box of pain. And there ain't no escape from that. Whoa! From the moment I saw him, I knew that Terry was exactly what team felt. <laughs> We had experimented with other office athletes before, though without what one might call success. So it was uh, that Terry office Tate sniper? office linebacker came to be. And Felcher and Sons would never be the same again. <laughs> you can't walk away from a K-22 paper jam! You must be out of your mind, son! This is my world, Donnie! You just work here, baby! <laughs> baby? Linebacker. <laughs> linebacker, employee. Baby? There truly aren't enough words to describe what this athlete brings to the office environment. And that's why there is no one more deserving of OSPN's Office Athlete of the Century Award. Have you been tackled than before? Terry Tate, office linebacker. Look, man, there ain't no secret to success in business or in life. The solution is simple, baby. 100% hard, all day, every day. 
Only quitters quit, and Triple T is a hitter. <laughs> Not a quitter. Believe that. <laughs> so anybody can get it. He just gonna tackle your ass. Any office violation, you gonna get tackled. People said that hiring an office linebacker was a gimmick, a cheap publicity stunt. <laughs> but with Terry Tate's proven motivational techniques, our productivity is up another 46% for the year. Shit. Somebody farted? <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. You must be out of your mind, son. You can't get the cheese wherever you please. That's just nasty. But that's not to say that I play favorites in the Felcher family. So when I received Paul's complaint. <laughs> Sorry about cheese, that, guys. Yeah. I, I'm lactose intolerant. Terry Tate assaulted me. That's just not right. My hands were tied. I had to follow employee handbook policy. <laughs> So, we brought in Geneva Stoller, the human <laughs> resource consultant <laughs> with Sanchez Steamer and Company, to run a workshop on office sensitivity. <laughs> Lean on the candy again, and I'm gonna lay a snack attack on your candy ass, and you won't ever snap back from again! Oh, interesting. The first rule of sensitivity is that every human has a personal bubble that should never be penetrated without HR approval. Anyone observed in non-compliance will receive one of these. A badge of shame. Any questions? You're fired. Sensitivity training? <laughs> hey man, I'm a sensitive mother My tackling knows no race, gender, or creed. So bring it on. I'm an equal opportunity hit a machine, baby. All day, every day. Believe that. <laughs> Damn, friend, you know. Mr. Tate. It was obvious we had an E-11 situation with Mr. Tate. I had no choice but to ask him to turn in his jersey and reassign him to a desk job. Special bubble! Ooh, this really? woman can't come up my house and tell Triple T that he, he has trouble with the special bubble! For a desk job. Look, man, playing out of position, that ain't Terry's game. You can take the fish out the sea, but you ain't ever gonna take the line back out of me! The pencil flew off. That. This is Roger. Hey, Bigger Pepper. <laughs> hey, you Burger Flipper. I was about to call you, man. I'll be hanging. Yeah, just call me Butter, baby. I'm on the road. <laughs> just lollygagging. <laughs> hey, can I get some fries in that shake? <laughs> Make that a double. <laughs> well, I'm open to refining the paradigm. Um, Roger, may I have your permission to initiate physical contact upon your person? Let's see. No. The new rules of engagement were affecting our bottom line. Workplace morale plummeted. Mom. And horseplay rose sharply. <laughs> and as it turns out, like all great revolutionaries, Geneva had a fatal flaw. Hey, Pablo. Seems that even human resource executives might be human after all. You about to tackle her? Wow! You can't make a pass in pitch Pablo's ass. That's old school rules, baby. Wow! <laughs> nice mustache. Ever since Geneva's unfortunate departure, our productivity has gone back to record levels. And as I've always said. If it ain't something that's broken, then there's no need to repair it. I already got my oil change. It goes like that. Woo! This ain't your home. So don't use this big of phone, Roger. Woo! Roger? No, you next on the phone. Oh, no, he's not at the office. He's at home. Okay. Never mind. <laughs>
All right, y'all. I'm gonna end the video right there. This shit is crazy as hell. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video. Bye.